is the voter education series produced by the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD West Africa. I am Miriam Abdul Rashid. As we all know, the 2019 elections are at hand. Sometimes citizens think all they need is to simply have their voters cards and go voting. There is much more to the process, from the obvious to the not so obvious. In this series, I will take you through a number of instructional videos which will cover election mandate protection, PVC collection, the voting process on election day, how winners emerge and are announced, and how citizens can engage politicians on issue-based campaigns. Let us begin by talking about election mandate protection. You have gone through the process of queuing to get your voter's card because you want to elect persons of your choice into political offices. As you are working to achieve this, there are equally those trying to steal your election mandate and shortchange you. In what ways does election mandate theft occur? Election theft refers to all activities of fraud or in layman terms, all magumagu activities during the election process. Bringing underage persons to polling units as voters is election fraud. Exclusion of valid ballots by counting officials is election fraud. Hijacking ballot boxes or exchanging them is election fraud. The election period is where most of the visible rigging voters can see take place. At this point, you and members of your community can take specific measures to protect your election mandate. A good example of effective mandate protection occurred in Bauchi's gubernatorial elections in 2007. The youth took vigil of their votes and adopted a slogan, Akasar, Asale, Araka, which means vote, protect the vote, and escort the vote. It was an effective measure for their election mandate, civic engagement. It can be carried out by strategic mobilization and planning. There is power in numbers. When people say no, the politicians listen. However, note that civic engagement does not mean violence. Liaise with community leaders and influencers to inform their words of specific plans for mandate protection during elections. Using the media, Media can be used as a check on election theft. But how do you use the media? Establish a good contact list of reporters and media houses you can send report of happenings in your polling unit. Using multimedia in form of pictures, videos and more to keep track of the election process and record evidence where needed. During elections, the hashtag, hashtag snap and send becomes active Citizens are to snap key events going on around them during elections and upload online using the hashtag snap and send. Making phone calls and using the internet to distribute multimedia content instead of waiting for the press. Protecting your election mandate during and after elections need not be limited to the tips given in this video. Communities and groups can come up with many more ways to ensure their mandate is protected during elections. Drop your comments and questions on our social media platforms and do share this video with your friends and family to help our work in enlightening many others on what they need to know during the course of elections and about voter education. 